If you love to accompany people, here's a quick tip on creating a more beautiful chord accompaniment. Now here's a quick tip on creating a beautiful accompaniment using chords. Um, and it's a really, seems simple, but can often be a little challenging, especially if you are used to playing root position chords all the time. So what we want to do is we want to choose different inversions in both hands. What I mean by that is let's take a song in the key of G. And so I'm going to utilize some chords in the key of G, but for the G chord, if we play a G chord, my root is G. So rather than me playing a root position G chord in my left hand, even if I'm rolling it, this is still root position because my lowest note is G. So even if I roll that chord, I'm in root position. And instead of me being in root position here to create that sound where my bottom note is G. Okay, so now I'm in root position even if I do something really nice, it's still both in root position there, and then maybe I go down to a C chord, and I stay in root position here. And then I go to a D chord, and I stay in root position here in both hands. Instead, I want to utilize different inversions. So let's go back through that same process, G, C, D, and let's utilize different inversions. So if I'm going to be in root position here, maybe I'm going to be in this um, second inversion here. C chord. D. So I'm utilizing different inversions and you can use that in him playing as well. Same idea is trying to find different inversions in both hands, making sure that you're not staying in the same inversion. But this is most common in accompaniment when you're using a chordal accompaniment. It's often where we tend to sit in the same inversion. If this video has helped you, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video and share it with your friends.